Antarctica is one of the most fascinating yet hostile places on the planet. For many years now we have travelled here in order to try and understand its history. It's known for its harsh climate and beautiful wildlife, and every year scientists and researchers from all over the world travel here to carry out experiments. One thing that most of the research groups can agree on is that Antarctica is changing, and unfortunately this isn't a good change. Over the years scientists have voiced their concerns about glaciers around the globe. Recently researchers have been keeping an eye on a large glacier, and they said that if it breaks off it could cause a 20 inch rise in global sea levels. It's reported that the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica could be breaking off in the near future. The effect it would have on our planet would be huge, and researchers who are monitoring the glacier have said that sea levels would rise by 8 inches or 20 centimetres. One of NASA's researchers said the following, If you trigger this instability, you don't need to continue to force the ice sheet by cranking up temperatures. It will keep going by itself and that's the worry. Climate variations will still be important after the tipping point because they determine how fast the ice will move. Another researcher who worked on the study had this to say, after reaching the tipping point the glacier could lose all of its ice in a period of 150 years. One issue is that if this does happen flooding would increase around the globe, and this could cost countries billions. This is just one of many icebergs that has doubled in size in the last 6 years. This is according to the National Science Foundation. This isn't the only iceberg that's been observed. Antarctica is one of those places that's shrouded in mystery, and recently researchers announced that a giant iceberg had broke off from the Larsen Sea ice shelf. It's estimated the iceberg had a volume of water twice that of Lake Erie, and it covered over 2,300 square miles. Scientists have said that this ice sheet has exposed a large stretch of ocean, and this ocean wouldn't have seen the sunlight in over 120,000 years. According to scientists, Antarctica is now melting at triple the rate it did in 2007, and if this trend continues thousands of coastal communities around the world will soon be underwater. Scientists have come forward and said that 10% of inhabited land in the United States could be seriously flooded. In the last few years flooding has been a major problem all around the world. One of the places being hit the most are some of the areas in the United States. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, it was projected that high flooding around the American coastlines this year will surpass typical levels of flooding by around 60%. This has scientists worried as it was initially thought not to be this high. Within the next 30 years, it's estimated that around 300,000 homes in the country of a combined value of 117.5 billion are likely to be at risk of chronic flooding. This isn't the only worry. Going back earlier this year, researchers announced that something could be hiding in Antarctica's ice. After the invention of nuclear arms, concerns regarding the complete annihilation of ourselves and our planet have been passing concerns for experts, and also government officials from around the world. Most academics regarding the matter believe that not only is the possibility incredibly high for nuclear warfare to occur within the next 100 years, but that we are closer to a nuclear strike than we've ever been before. Given the recent advancements made by powerhouses across the world, it's become a bigger worry than ever. Scientists have recently come forward and said some worrying news. They have said that a potentially dangerous time bomb is getting worse as the Earth's temperature rises. What they are talking about is the radioactive fallouts from nuclear meltdowns, and weapons testings that have happened in the past. After the tests were done that wasn't the end of the tests, fallout then found its way into glaciers all across the world. Now if these glaciers melt, which it seems likely they will, it could mean that it might get released back into the atmosphere and this could have massive effects. A team of scientists have been working together to try and figure out spots where the fallout could be. So far they've managed to find nuclear fallout in the Arctic, Iceland, the Alps, British Columbia as well as Antarctica and as you can imagine they're starting to get worried. It doesn't help either that researchers have said that Antarctica is melting at an alarming rate. 
Researchers and scientists who have been mapping and studying Antarctica have come forward and said that they've noticed some strange warming effects at our poles. This is happening at times they wouldn't expect. For example, it's like winter and in places like Antarctica. Recent studies have been released and suggest the planet is warming up. The scientists have said this warming in the Arctic and Antarctica have caused many strange events. One being melting and off-winter problems including permafrost that never refroze this winter and also wildlife deaths. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released the following statement. In our recent report, we stated this year was the second warmest year on record in the Arctic, and this came with many problems. The scientific team went on to say they found man-made radioactive material at all 17 survey sites. The worry is that these glaciers and ice caps are melting. What then happens is it's released into the atmosphere and then falls back down to the Earth, and this is usually in the form of rain. What this means then is that it's absorbed by plants and soil. Not just that, but a large bulk of it finds its way into the oceans and rivers. This fallout can stay in the environment for a long time. Interestingly enough, a recent study was done by Sweden, and they found that wild boar meat contained more than 10 times the safe levels of cesium. In fact, for many years now, researchers and scientists all over the world have known about this. Call it whatever you want, but one thing researchers can agree on is something is happening to our planet. In fact, it was recently announced that David Attenborough travelled to the South Pole for one of his recent shows. When arriving, however, he quickly noticed that something seemed off. The wildlife expert said that he was worried about the environment due to human activities. In his words, he said the following. The shoot is going well, but the crew are noticing some worrying signs. Part of the Antarctic is warming up five times faster than the rest of the world. If this trend continues, it will threaten the very existence of these polar creatures. One scientist who has been keeping a close eye on our planet temperatures has said that due to the planet warming up in the Arctic, over 40 billion tonnes of Greenland's ice sheets has melted. It was announced a few months back that people in Iceland have started to mourn the loss of a 700-year-old glacier. The once impressive glacier is now turned into a shriveled up patch that can be found at the top of a volcano. Hundreds of people could be seen climbing the volcano in honour of the event. What's sad about this though is the glacier is Iceland's first glacier to disappear. It's been said that going back 10 years ago it was over 6 square miles. Some of the locals have said the following. We are now starting to see the effects of climate change. It's happening right now in front of our eyes and something needs to be done about it. This glacier is the first but it won't be the last. We need to change our ways in order to preserve our natural world. Scientists have agreed with these people, saying that if drastic changes aren't made within 200 years all of the country's glaciers will melt. Although some are taking this as a joke, officials are not seeing the funny side. Further saying that in order for us to live on this planet for thousands of years to come we need to do our bit. A plaque was installed close to the region and it carries the following message. This monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and what needs to be done. Only you know if we did it. The meaning is deep and hopefully we can turn things around. Another person said the following about the event. Some don't believe in global warming which is fine. However, whatever you believe, one thing that is fact is that ice all around the world is melting. And we need to try and stop this as soon as we can before it's too late. Scientists have recently come forward with some more worrying news. They have said that as a whole Earth's temperature is rising, and that this will definitely have effects on ice all around the world. For many years now researchers have talked about ancient diseases being stored in ice caps around the world. What's happening is that they're now melting and will start to come into contact with this. This isn't an issue for things we're aware of and things we can cure but we potentially wouldn't know anything about these ancient diseases. The World Health Organization said the following. It represents the knowledge that a serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently unknown. So regardless of people's views, it's in our best interest to ensure these glaciers don't melt across the world. 
So my question to you guys is what do you think is going to happen to Antarctica and other regions within the next 25 years? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.